All right, we're going to jump into some of these Ask Danny's, man. You can always hit me up at Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. That's Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. First up, we got Dim Sum Hard Decisions. Ask Danny. Hey, Danny. My name is Jeremy, and there's a sketch Chinese market. Oh, oh, sketchy. All right, my bad. I'm thinking you're talking like sketch, like improv or some shit. Right. <laughs> this is a sketch Chinese, Chinese market improv. in my town, and they got the best shit there no one else got, and it's run by one of the singular old-ass ladies. The only issue is she's selling cigarettes and vape to some little-ass kids, and I don't rock with that. If I say something, it will no doubt get shut down, so she has to run the store for her. So do I report and get the show shut down, or do I say nothing and keep the supply of rare Asian shit out of cars for her? Selling drugs to kids. Shouts out to Jen. Don't be no snitch, man. Yeah, <laughs> we all know. I mean, you know, as being um, people that are not natives in this country, man, they got to get it how they live. You know she doing that shit. She's sending that money back to her people, man. So, <laughs> and I'm going to be honest. A kid that's smoking cigarettes, you ain't finna change their life. They already, <laughs> they already doing that shit. Yeah, like, man. Uh, it could be much them, worse. <laughs> you act like she's selling fentanyl or something, oh, man. Said, yeah, a, kid might, a kid that's smoking cigarettes might need a cigarette. I don't need <laughs> <even, laughs> <laughs> You don't know what he going to do at home, bro. <laughs> that's, that's some truth to that. Because I remember being a fucking kid, you know, your mom would be like, go light my cigarette on the stove. On the stove, on some hood shit. Yeah. You go light the cigarette and you yeah. hit that motherfucker. One time, <laughs> one time, one time. One time. <laughs> what? You damn near throw up. You're like, what? You smoking these Virginia Slim menthols. <laughs> damn near fucking my life up. All right. I'm glad. I, that's one thing. I, I'm glad I really quit. I quit cigarettes. It's yeah. been... I might smoke one every blue moon, uh -huh. but every time what I smoke What about in like Europe? That's the only time I ever smoke cigarettes. If I'm over there and I see a cool person smoking a cigarette, yeah. I might do it. Smoking a cigarette does look cool. In other places, in America, that shit America, America, cool. probably a Bucky's behind you, so you don't look as yeah. cool. But like, you like, in Europe, in Japan, he's <laughs> yeah, in Japan, I was definitely smoking with cool them. Cool as hell. Well, it's just like a whole different head. culture with yeah. smoking over there, you yeah. know? But yeah, smoking cigarettes, man. Yeah, don't. You right though. Let the motherfuckers be bad. All right. <laughs> Next up, we got tired of the bitch. Yo, Danny, I love my girl, but I don't know if I really want to be with her still. I don't know how to tell her because she's fucking emotional, and I'm not the type of guy to break a heart. But I low key want to fuck somebody else. <sighs> <sighs> don't we? <are. laughs> what's but the I would reason? But I never cheat on someone. You feel me? What's the reason he don't want to be with her? <laughs> he never gave a good reason. I mean, I'm I know. He he, I mean, I feel really. like he already got his set. His heart. He just yeah, said, yeah, well, I, I, say, yeah. I'm right. not about to be that guy. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a faithful man. You know what I'm saying? It takes discipline. It you know, it's, it's just a part of life, man. But I feel like um, if you want to take life serious, you have to be like. You got to be disciplined yeah, somewhere. You got to somewhere. You gotta commit. That's what it is. You got to commit. Just wanting to fuck somebody else great, ain't yeah. enough reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't just... know. That might be enough reason. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I'm, to I'm to very break happy with relationship. But I'm just saying, if you want to fuck somebody else and he's going to just make shit hard for her because of that, you just Man, need to go do that shit, bro. Like, let, nah, let, nah, let, you let might that bitch win. breathe. You need to just tell her, like, I yeah, want to fuck with you. You need to be up front about it for sure. She might be like, all right. I want to fuck another nigga. I, then y'all you, you like, oh. got to do that shit. You know that what I'm shit saying? Then you're like, oh. Man, you might as well just keep it pushing, bro. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm out. This I consider slow. that just dick and pussy shit, man. Like, you know, fucking is just one thing. But man, when you yeah. have a mutual connection with somebody, that shit is hard to find. That's we what, only get so many exactly. good girls in exactly. this lifetime. It is hard uh, to find. You so, know? Many, so many genuine connections. That's why I was like, bro, what's the reason, though? Like, yeah. what's the reason you don't want to be with her? You could want to fuck another bitch. Like, yeah. I understand that. Like, it's human. I think that's just natural human. Yeah, people fine. But, like, why you don't want to be with Shadow no more? Like, we want to know that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what I think he's just horny, on. man. He's just, horny. <laughs> he's just on some horny shit, man. But I will say, man, you Somebody can't... You got to throw it all away. <laughs> yeah, you don't throw it all away with some dick and pussy shit, man. You can't do that, I man. I say let him throw it away, bro. <laughs> That's the only way he's going to learn. Yeah, I was to say, you got to learn, bro. You got to go through it. Like, you got to be like, I don't throw it away. There's a lot of good chicks over some dick and pussy shit. Now, now I'm happy I got it going, mm -hmm. but I had to learn it. <laughs> it Especially it's rare. At my age, I know it's over for me. I ain't no, I, I, I fucked this one up. It, it's, it's trash from here on out. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just realize that, Facts man. Like, it's only so many, man. But yeah, we all fuck up. I think that's just still young-minded shit, too. You got to be at yeah. that age, you know? Not too many people. You know, especially, I, I, you know, when living with women and, and understanding them and shit like that, man, that shit just comes with age, I feel it like. Come with, yeah, it comes with experience. Yeah, the come worst with thing you know. when you cheat is that post that clarity. you like, damn, like, damn like, I don't I like do you at all. Like, yeah, <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Nothing that worse like, than that. I, I can't, don't I like can't deal with that shit no more, man. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's just, just, just a shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just be sitting alone in yourself <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> uh, like, why would I need a cigarette? Why would you put yourself through that emotional turmoil? All right, next up we got Charlie XEX. Hey, Danny, the booth boys, and the rest of the team. Massive fan from London and seeing you twice now. So my question is, how did you get to work with Charlie XEX? Were you both in studio together? I'm also a fan of her. 
Would you guys collaborate again or even invite her onto the show? Peace, Brittany. Man, y'all been listening to that Charlie XCX album? That yeah, Brett? Yeah, man. It's, no. it's the best album. I I've like it. To that. Yeah, that shit fire. Oh, man. That shit fire. I'm so sorry, fucking Charlie good, man. Yeah, it's a grower, too. Yeah. Like, you know, I remember, you know, everybody was I like raving the art. about it. I like the art direction. Yeah, just yeah. The whole shit. marketing behind <laughs> it was genius, you know? Okay. But, um, yeah, Charlie, I was just a fan of her early, you know, and reached out, wanted to work with her, and made it happen. I think Charlie is probably way too big to be working with my underground ass right now, <laughs> but I would love to do some. I actually seen her not too long ago. She's from the UK? Yeah. I, I remember, I was low-key sleeping on her at first because she had that song with Iggy Azalea, which I'm not that much yeah, a fan fancy, of. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, uh, actually, her voice is different. And I listened to Brad, I was like, nah, no, she's Brad fire, is, bro. I mean, I feel like Brad is something she's been building up to all this time. But, um... Yeah, I seen her not too long ago, and she was looking cool as hell, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> cool you and I was like, what's up, Charlie? That's really some Jedi <laughs> shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> cool. All right, next up, we got gay dude swag. Hey, Danny, I'm going to move with my bi friend, and I'm a straight dude. I feel like if I bring a lady over, <laughs> there's going to be eyeing me up because he's not that queer out. What do I got to do to up my fashion game and make sure new ladies keep their eyes <laughs> on me? <laughs> not on no new homie homo. Hey, Thanks, man, Danny. if you... If you got, <laughs> If you wear this, if you got a gay homie, bro, let that nigga style you, bro. I'm about to say, bro. Get up your Like, see what I'm talking about. They the freshest motherfuckers, man. What are you talking about? Up my style game. I mean, I don't know. That nigga said what I got to do. Do you think you big get last pussy because you got a gay roommate, bro? Like, if that's really on you, don't blame that nigga, bro. Yeah, exactly. No, but I feel like, um, just with fashion, I feel like it's just all about you as a person. I don't really feel like um, people should ever just get too caught up in some trendy shit. Because I feel like that's the one thing that separates us from everybody is how we mm -hmm. fucking look. Yeah. So you should want to take pride in, you know, being able that people can identify you and see you and be like, oh, this motherfucker's into this. That's how we kind of connect with each other. With yeah. you. you know what I'm saying? Yes. So I feel like fashion is really like a... It's 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 really on you. You, you know what I'm saying. You should treat it like like a MySpace page in like 2009. Like yeah, all the super customized, yeah, super you know customized. Like, yeah, like, exactly. Yo, MySpace. Exactly. Like, yeah. Shit, yeah. Like. So I feel like you know once you get caught up in starting to think like I need to up my fashion game, you already kind of lost. Wow. Yeah. You, yeah. Already yeah. Wild, bro. <laughs> you, you need to go talk to your gay game. homie now, bro. Yeah. Like have a real discussion. <laughs> that is the thing though. Like because even with me, I, I always was one of those people like I don't need no stylist. I don't know how to do this shit, but then once you start working with people that that's their fucking job, like this, you know, we got we got other shit to worry about. Worry about mm -hmm. music, I'm worried why, about this um, and that. Why he want to up his style game again? Like, so he like, so girls so like him. Get bitches I don't girls will like him <laughs> <Yeah>. for bitches. <laughs> Bitches don't be what? caring about that shit. About they really don't. <laughs> I'm about to say, bitches fuck bum ass niggas after work every All day. the time. Bitches have a full time job and fucking nigga who never changed clothes. <laughs>